Brescia, Italy, August 26, 2024. After days of high temperatures, bad weather hit several areas of the province of Brescia this morning. The storms began around 7.30 in Franciacorta, where the greatest damage was recorded, and then moved towards the city, where it stopped raining by 9.30. The fire department intervened several times. In the west, a violent hailstorm hit Franciacorta starting at 7.30. In a handful of minutes, in particular in Rovato, Robusco, and Cacalio, hailstones as big as tennis balls fell, later replaced by rain and wind, which transformed streets and gardens into a white expanse, like the one seen in the video recorded. Hail broke windows and dented the bodywork of many cars in Rovato, where there were also reports of roof tiles and tiles on the street. Throughout the area, the rain generated rivers of water that made traffic difficult. There were also problems on the A4 motorway, where vehicles were forced to proceed at 20 km per hour due to poor visibility, resulting in long queues. In particular, traffic was paralyzed in the stretch between the Bonomelli roundabout and the Rovato A4 motorway toll booth. In Rovato, there are dozens of cars with shattered windows, flooding throughout the historic center, as well as via Spolenza, via via Zellino, and in the San Donato neighborhood. The ice has blocked the manhole grates causing flooding. Also in Rovato, the historic Monday market at Foro Borio was suspended due to weather conditions. The Plodio torrent overflowed, flooding Viale del Rai membranes near the cemetery. Besides that, Via Isonzo was also flooded. The rain did not even spare the Franciacorta vineyards, filling the land beneath Monte Orfano with water. According to the president of the Franciacorta Consortium Silvano Brescianini, however, most of the grapes are already in the cellar and the damage from the strong storm should be limited. In several vineyards in that area, harvesting is still underway these days and there was hope for an excellent year, while now we will still have to deal with the consequences of the bad weather. At the Caruna Company at the foot of Monte Orfano, everyone rushed to the vineyard to save the last bunches they were picking, to check the damage and collect what was left that was healthy. Meanwhile around 8.30 the storm also reached the city. With hail and strong gusts of wind. The underpasses via Dalmasia and via Corsica were flooded, and shortly before 9, the stretch was closed to traffic. Traffic started flowing again shortly before 10. The local police and firefighters intervened. Lots of water on the streets also in the areas of Via Fura and Via Milano. However, no significant damage was recorded. <laughs> <laughs> 